everybody, welcome back to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler, and on today's episode, we're back with some more Ghosts of Tsushima. And I am having a blast with this game. Say I'm having a blast is an understatement. This game is phenomenal. And as I mentioned in the last video, I'm only going to be playing the story missions in the Let's Play series. And in between missions, I'm going to be doing the little side missions and exploring and etc. And oh my god, I've had so much fun. I've uh, conquered some more outposts and learned the water stance. I've saved a young boy on a bridge and Jin had to make peace with becoming the more of assassin type character. Jin. We look them in the eye. Courage. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Forgive me, uncle. Basso! Basso! <laughs> And we had the most epic of all samurai battles in the rain, in the lightning, and we lit the uh, heavenly strike. I've got it. Strike couldn't save you. Uh, and we are now closing in on a new mission, uh, the Straw Hat mission. As you can see, I've got a new outfit as well. Uh, this is not the Straw Hat that I wanted, uh, but it'll do for now. But I'm heading towards the Ronin mission uh, in the hopes of uh, getting a prop. Well, I will be getting a Ronin outfit and hopefully a cool Straw Hat with that. Convoy. Ambushed. Could Ooh. be the Straw Hat's doing. Uh, but honestly, I've had so much fun with this game. Uh, one of the earlier cutscenes where you cross a field with grass like this, I came back across by mistake, well, not by mistake, by accident, and literally I got off my horse and walked through the grass just because I enjoyed it this much. This is no exaggeration. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, this, I've done loads, uh, and I've gotten quite decent at this game now, uh, so hopefully this will be quite a fun Attack episode for you. Here. But there had to be more than one Mongol. Uh, they've run off... Blood on the grass! Oh, honestly, there's so much I've done. I, 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 but honestly, to relay everything I've done would be a whole episode. But it's more... Uh, the problem with it is that, obviously, it's a lot of tedious stuff. It's fun playing it, but it's not very interesting watching it, which is why I'm cutting it out and focusing on the story. Um, but again, if I do come across anything fun, uh, I will save it, and I will uh, leave it in the video for you guys. More bodies, more... Oh. We're in a very suspicious looking trail. Hmm. It's almost like they want me to follow. This is the worst breadcrumb trail ever. Oh, Try there's one still to keep. Uh, I don't know if I, so, uh, if I unlocked the kunai, kunai whatever it was, uh, last episode, but it's uh, some throwing knives, uh, which is very handy. And I, oh, I'm very close as well to unlocking the, you know, the uh, duel. Unlocking three people I can kill in one go. You lost your sword, fool. Jin? You know me? You look like a scarecrow. You've looked better, too. <laughs> Can I have my hat? Brothers in arms. You're a mercenary now. A professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. <laughs> this is you ridiculous. Beach. You were there, too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. I was about to say that. And we can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He is alive. For now. The straw hats are hurt. Starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one man. Even if you can name your price? Ooh, naming your price, not bad. Once we free our home, incentive. Lord Shimura will pay you. Anything you want. Mm. 
My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone These else. hats are so ridiculous. I love it. Still not quite the one I was in, but... Do we have a deal? I'll think about it. It's not bad. I didn't want it. I want it more like ending here than right down my face. I always do. Which one am I? And they start fainting these little attacks like that. But I'm not gonna fall for it. I am a professional killer. This is for Komodo Beach. Oh, okay. Kill yeah. them all. Right, let's kill this archer. These archers are pain in my backside. There we go. And also, last episode, you may recall me saying I was disappointed. Oh, hang on. So, as I mentioned, also, I can unlock the war stance, which is great against shield guys. Cut straight through them. And it's so intuitive to switch between. God, this is a lot of enemies. Jeez. Hold on, I need to find this archer. The light in this game is beautiful, but it does sometimes get a little bit in the way. Just in time for all these shield guys. No, no, no! Bugger! Alright, let's see if we can do this bit a little better this time. Nicely done. This is Pokemon Beach. Hmm, why don't we see that? I don't understand. I mean, I'm obviously doing something wrong, but I don't know what. Oh, here they all come. This is where they all came from last time. Right, let's take these archers out again because they are a pain in the ass. But we're going to skip towards the end of this fight. We don't need to see this 20 times. It's just going to be more and more killing. Now, if you also remember last episode, I was complaining, not complaining, but saying, I wish that you could um, your form has improved. put your sword away. And you. You can, to grow in such a badass way. But we'll get to that in a moment. Have you considered my offer? The Straw Hats can't save your uncle. We'll be lucky if we survive the week. It's that bad? We're starving. I was out here hunting for food, and I'm returning to my men empty-handed. There's plenty of meat on the ground. Alone. Just saying. Take me to your camp. We'll figure something out on the road. <laughs> Just like old times. So yeah, um, I found that when I was looking at the options, it told me that if I swipe left on the touchpad, he'll play the flute. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Apparently it can change the weather. Uh, so I figured, well, what happens if I swipe right on the D-pad? 
which is where the, I found out that I can sheave my sword, and he's got a few different animations, and then of course swipe down on the D-pad, and I'll bow out of respect. How cool is that? This is a game that utilizes everything. Um, you know, the full uh, use of the deep, uh, the touchpad, every button just has a purpose. On, when was the last time we talked? So, so good. Anyway, let's uh, continue on with this little mission. Straw hat saw our duel. They needed a new sword. It seemed like fun. Why didn't you tell me you were at Komoda? You were busy with the other samurai lords. I was sharing a drink with my men. I could have used a drink before that battle. And after, yeah. and jury. I'll bet. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, well, Ronin are masterless samurai, so Another obviously the samurais all have something we can salvage. Um, follow a leader like I follow Lord Shurumar, Shimura. Uh, well, I butchered that name. Uh, but the Ronin have no masters. That is, uh, so they kind of frown upon usually. But empty. Samurai, samurai. Ooh. Where the hell did you come from? I mean, obviously, over there. But not sneaky. Come on. Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. Mongols stole my horse, took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. All right, so I guess Let's we're going to... Moving. My camp's not far. Temple. <coughs> I meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura, and he'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Um, yeah, I don't think he wants to be some so what does he want? Three sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. That I know like you want to be more deal. than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? Yo, 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 I yo, convinced yo. them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so, but it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? Ooh, I need these Down flowers. Half, but this is what uses currency for some reason. On a lie. That peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. Do you have an idea? The beginning of one. Easy, Shinzo. It's me. That's the kind of straw hat I want. Oh, it's not all the way down over his face. I want more of the... F I, I've got a very particular look that I want for my character. I don't see any food. Who's the yes, that guy that was just walking to the bottom right. Ben, this is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Yuzo told me you were stunned. The one on the right now, that's the kind of hat I want. You didn't find food. We have a plan. I literally found Raid this hat. I've spoken about the hat the entire level. Have stolen from Video. Our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. Come with me, Jin. I, honestly, I'm, uh, I'm just taken in this game. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as what I am. And if you've got the PlayStation, because it's a PlayStation Jin. exclusive, and like the look of it, I ride with highly, the highly have to look the recommend it. I've got <gasps> a spare set of armor that should fit. They better not have lice. Never letting me forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. That's what I wanted. Does it look as good as I hoped? <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but... You're right. Bad. I'm more so. We should check the fort's defenses. Look that's, for weak spots. That's what I wanted. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at the fort of Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the straw hats. I would never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there. Okay, nice one. So we've uh, completed the mission. And we got our Ronin outfit, which is the kind of reason I did this one before the Yuna one that I said I was going to do. And yes, we've got another... This is three, three technique points. Oh, yes. Running attire, that is one. What weathered straw hat. That's what I wanted. Now, 
you'll also notice it seems to get rid of it in the cutscenes, but I've got that cool little. In fact, let me get closer looking for you. That cool. Ooh, too close. Lower mask as well, so I look badass. Yeah, this is the exact hat I wanted, but not ripped. I wanted it complete. But again, we're getting there. We're getting uh, close to the look I'm going to. So, uh, before we call into this episode, let me just bow to this beautiful environment. I am so chuffed I found this. Honestly, I've had so much fun just putting my swords away after like every encounter. Even if I'm halfway through a battle, to put the sword away because it looks that cool. But anyway, let's have a look at some of the technique points first. Uh, so without doubt, one of the techniques we are going to uh, upgrade is the improved standoff streak. Has to be done. Boom. So now we can kill up to three people. I usually be pretty good. It seems to be when I'm recording, my combat gets a little worse. I think it's because I'm trying to commentate at the same time as concentrate, and I'm not very good at that. And there's, ooh, safe landing's tempting, but let's have a look at some of our... Yes. Yeah, I think we're going to, as I mentioned before, we're going to fully upgrade the deflection. I think now that I've got the uh, standoff chained full, I'm going to focus on completing the deflection. I'm not going to bother worry about evasion. And then we're just going to focus on ghost techniques, I think. So let's uh, buy that. And now we're pretty unstoppable. Now, the only problem, and literally the only problem I've got with this game's customization is the lack of customization. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. But I love this Ronin attire. But I want the cape from the Traveler's attire. I can't, I can't combine them. The only thing I can combine is the face thing, the head thing, and the body. Literally, that is nitpicking. Um, but I was kind of hoping that there would be more... Like Red Dead, you can really customise your character from the boots to the spurs to the chaps to your jacket, your waistcoat, all that. That's kind of what I wanted with this. But at the same time, I understand why they don't have it. So, And I look pretty freaking badass. I mean... You can't argue with that look, right? That is sweet. Um, I just miss the cape. I just want cape. Capes are cool. But hopefully over time I'll be able to upgrade. I can keep the straw hat and all that and uh, hopefully I'll get a badass cape. But again, I'm trying to keep these episodes short. So I'm just going to be doing one story episode per episode. Uh, so next episode we're going to do... Oh God, I keep zooming way, way out. Uh, it's tempting to do this one uh, with the... Um, more straw hats, but I'm going to carry on with Yuna's story because her brother will be able to uh, get me some cool equipment. So next episode, we're going to make our way to the Broken Blacksmith. And again, between these episodes, I'm probably going to look at all these undiscovered locations and try and uncover a bit more of this map and probably free that village. Mm, that might be the mission. I might leave that. But yeah, and you can fast travel as well, which is great. Uh, I've unlocked quite a few different fast travel locations. Again. This game is perfect in every conceivable way, except for I can't <laughs> customise my outfit as much as I want. And that is, like I've said, nitpicking. Anyway, um, we're done with this episode. I'm rambling. I apologise. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I hope you uh, will be continuing to join me on this series. And thank you for everyone who's watched up until this point. Uh, it really means a lot. And to let me know that you're enjoying the series, do comment down below. Hit that like button. And... Why not share this video with your friends? I hope you enjoy the take that I'm uh, making with this, with the more cinematic shots, because um, I'm having a blast doing it. And uh, that's all I have to say. I'll see you all on the next episode coming soon. Bye. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, remember to hit that like button down below as well as leaving a comment. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content. And of course, there's plenty more videos on the channel, such as these right here to check out now. And of course, you can subscribe and that way you keep up to date with the latest videos. With that being said, it's farewell from me. I'll see you on the next video.